Right guys, how's it going? So today in this video, we're going to be changing the oil filter and replacing the oils within the car, my Fiesta ST. It's basically really, like, really straightforward. And as you can see, as you will see in the video, I will go through step by step. So without further ado, without further ado let's go straight into the video and see what we're going to be using today. So first thing first, you're going to be using a 13mm socket with a ratchet again. Like before in the brakes video, like I said, Ford used a lot of 13mm sockets. Um, Triple QX 5W30 fully synthetic oil. A Bosch um, oil filter, which fit perfectly. Some blue roll to wipe away some of the um, residue from, from later on. So let's go straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself an oil drainer, something like that. And we're going to be taking the... Um, oil sump plug out it's relatively easy it's located at the front of the car um the, the oil drain where you do, to drain the oil um and the 30 mil sump plug like it is 30 mil so it was i did have to use quite a bit of force within this so don't, if it was a bit too tight for my liking but like i said give it a bit of force if you need to and once that's out just leave that to drain for about 10 15 minutes so basically once that's done um well yeah actually wait before i fully took it out i had to go get some gloves because you know, like as usual i forgot to put plastic gloves on because you know oil gets absolutely everywhere so yeah i went ahead and done that got my, got my plastic gloves back on make sure you always wear plastic gloves i didn't i usually i was wearing my normal work gloves that's the reason why i went back and got some plastic gloves because i didn't want to get my normal work gloves covered so once some plug is out um it's that easy it just comes out and put it into the oil drainer as you can see the oil's gushing out now um just leave that for about 10 15 minutes like i said and then we'll be back to do the next part so once that's back, um, once that's back and once it's draining, actually, um, once that's draining it for fifteen minutes, you can go ahead and take out the oil filter. So that's located just in front of the um, the oil sump where you take the oil out. And basically, mine was on relatively like you know not tight at all really, which I was really confused by. Um, but obviously, the people that have done the service before didn't tighten the oil filter up that much. But that's where it is. Got my light out and show you guys. So like I did now, I removed uh, moved the oil drum just so I can because obviously when you take the oil, the oil filter out, it's going to be draining absolutely everywhere. And then like I said, I gave it a few twists. Um, and then once once it like got a bit loose, it was really easy to undo. Um, you can undo it with like sometimes like a torque like a torque wrench or something like that to like get, get like a little cut bit you put on the end and then you can take it off if it's too tight or put some swan necks on it but like i said took it out and then once it was out i got some um once i left it to drain for a bit i basically got some uh, liquid buffer and some blue rolls to clean it up because there was oil going everywhere over my boost pipes and all that stuff um into cooler pipes everything it was just going everywhere so i try my best to get rid of as much as i can um you guys can do the same if you want or you can leave the oil it's up to you like obviously at the end of the day you just want it to look a bit cleaner underneath um but basically yeah just use the liquid buffer for a while um honestly i wanted to get rid of everything because i mean i did leave a bit as you will see in a minute i did leave a bit but basically after this part you want to go ahead get your oil filter I mean, brand new oil filter and fit it in the car, like fit it onto um, the screw that like we're about to now. So I had a Bosch oil filter here, it's brand new, don't worry about the marks on it, that is just my um, dirty hand marks. Um, just do it up, hand tight, it is relatively easy to get on, um, don't go any more than hand tight, because I think there is a torque setting for it, but like I'd really go as tight as you can with your hands, as you can see in this video, I went pretty much as tight as I could with my hands right here. Um, it took a few tugs, but just make sure you do do it as tight as you can with your hands. I mean, it's up. To, that's the way I do it, but it's up to you guys. You can do do the correct torque setting if you want. So basically, after that, um, yeah, as you can see here, this is it on. Um, it is a bit like dirty up there still, but as you can see, it, the oil does get everywhere when you do drain it. It's still leaking a bit now, but I did eventually um clean that all up again, etc. So you can get liquid buffer as well from Tip Top or any like you know eBay stuff like that. So whilst that's all done, um, the oil would have probably drained out by now, and you can clean that up and put the sump plug back in, ready to go for your um oil top up in just a minute. Now the tightness on this, there is a torque setting for this as well. Um, it's usually on a place called like Auto Data. Or you can check online through Google. I'm sure the torque setting for the oil sump plug. Um, I just did it as I as not like really really tight, but you know when you feel like you could you just before like you don't want to feel it, so it feels like it's going to snap a bolt. You just want to do it tight enough the way you think it's right, where you, where you think it's tight enough. So yeah, here we go. Moving on to taking out the um, oil cap. And then once that's done, we're getting out the 5W30 uh, Triple QX fully synthetic oil. This was recommended by some people at work, so I went ahead and used that oil. Um, go get yourself a, f uh, a filtered funnel as well, because I will show you why you need a filtered funnel in just a moment. Because the amount of stuff that gets in it is unbelievable. And yeah, so here's, so we're just pouring in the oil here. Um, the amount of oil you need to pour into the ST is 4.1 litres. Um, like I said, but well, like I will say in a minute, like if you do need some more oil, then go ahead and use some more oil. But 4.1, 4.2 was enough for my car. Um, like I said, 
So yeah, once that's done, uh, as you can see, this is why you need the oil uh, the funnel filter because look at all the crap you get at the bottom. You really don't want that going into your engine bay because it's just going to absolutely mess up your car, etc. So once that's done, put your oil cap back on and then go ahead and jump in the car, start it up, leave it for about five to ten minutes. Right, so once that's done, go ahead and check your dipstick. Um, like I said, if you do oil doesn't need topping up, then go ahead and top it up. You'll be able to tell straight away if it doesn't need topping up because there won't be much on the dipstick itself. But like I said, if you do get to the stage and it's you know you've got enough like I have, I'm about to show you guys here. I've literally just cleaned it and then dipping it back in just so I can show you guys what basically my oil's like. Um, it was perfectly fine. It was quite clean oil really as well. Like my engine base quite clean. Um, you may not think that's quite clean, but it is quite clean oil. But yeah, but once, mine was fine, so what I did was basically put the thing back in. And yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. So subscribe, like, and comment as always. And yeah, basically, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you do comment down below if you want to see anything new. Um, I will let you know basically what's going on in the future. There is future videos coming up. Like I said, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Check me out on my um, social media. It will be in the description below. Hopefully this video has helped you out a lot with how to do an oil change on a Fiesta ST. It's relatively easy. Like I said, if you get the tools, you could probably do it at home with a few jacks and axle stands. And yeah, it'd be an easy job. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified every time I upload. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Oh, <laughs> oh,